Hi guys, it's Katrina Humphrey and Gracie with Tutoring Tranquility Tiny House.com. Thanks for joining us. Today, um, it's the high about 77 and I'm starting to get warm, so bear with me. My legs are feeling like jello, so I realized that it was getting too warm. There wasn't much of a breeze, so we turned around uh, an hour and 15 minutes. It's okay, at least we got out. So every time I hike, I always seem to get inspired. Nature kind of does that to me. It's so cleansing, so amazing. And I just always remember six years ago when I got diagnosed and my world flipped upside down and I wasn't able to see and I couldn't walk. My ex-husband at that point basically didn't want me going by myself so I was losing my freedom it just really sucked and further details on down the story but we won't go into that um so anyways that was not going to be the life that I was going to have and so I changed my diet which was really good I've been a juicer for over 20 years now and since I started seeing symptoms of MS, I knew something was really wrong, but doctors kept on saying I was crazy. So, I changed my diet, became a juicer, um, and then the relapse ha happened when I kind of went off my diet and started eating more processed food just to make somebody happy. Um, bottom line is, please, 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 you guys... You're number one, take care of yourself first. Because if you can't take care of yourself, you're not gonna take care of anyone else. And to me, if I don't take care of myself, how am I gonna take care of these guys? They're my number two and three. Actually, they're both number twos. So, anyways, one of my inspirations as I'm getting hot and I'm getting a little dizzy, I'm looking at all these amazing, amazing wildflowers. It's gorgeous out here. So, when I get home, I'm going to take my camel back, stick it in the freezer with some filtered lemon water, and it'll serve two purposes. In tiny land, everything has to have more than one purpose. Wow, look at these flowers. Um, so, purpose number one, it will thaw on my back and in the sun, and it'll be like a ice pack for me when I'm hiking. And I'll keep my legs strong instead of getting all jello-like, which they are kind of right now. And second purpose. What was second purpose? Um, it stores in the freezer? That wasn't it. Um, oh, yeah, it'll keep me hydrated. As it melts, it'll be filtered lemon water. And lemon water is really good to keep your body alkaline. Um, you do not... Definitely, definitely do not want a acidic body. When you eat processed food, um, a lot of refined sugars, that is exactly what happens to your body. It turns very acidic. And interestingly enough, back when I was married, second time, um, beautiful engagement ring. It's gorgeous. It was from a really, really good dealer in Estes Park, I also loved it. But every time I wore this gold ring, my finger would turn dark green. And um, I talked to the jeweler and they thought I was crazy. Again, seems like a common theme. And now I think about it and my God, my body was acidic. That's why my jewelry was turning colors on my fingers. It wasn't bad gold. It was because my system was so acidic, and when your body is acidic, that is when disease happens. When your stomach and your gut are not healthy, um, leaky gut happens. Once leaky gut happens, you get holes in your gut pretty much, and so every time you eat, and then if you're eating crappy food, like processed food, nachos, cheese, stuff like that it goes through the lining in your stomach 
and it goes into your bloodstream. And your bloodstream looks at it and goes, whoa, 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 invader, invader, we gotta fight, we gotta fight. And autoimmune disease is born. So this is why I stress taking probiotics. You get your gut in the best health possible. And once you start healing your gut, you notice a huge difference with energy and your capabilities. So that was a short story of my six years ago with a very acidic body to a much more alkaline system now and a healthy gut because I've been working on it for the last two years. I take lots of probiotics. With autoimmune, you should take at least 80 billion a day. I do that three times a day. And I eat fermented foods a lot. Also very good for your gut. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope it was helpful. And if you ever see your finger turning green from jewelry, get a, like a pull strip. You can pee on it or stick it in your mouth. See if you're acidic or alkaline. It's actually a really good thing to do anyways because you should really know where your body is and nobody wants to have cancer or diseases. So you guys have a great Sunday. It's a fun day. See ya.